Hey everyone, it's Steve here from TheEmotionMachine.com and today I'm going to talk about how too stressed people equals less stress. And I'll explain what I mean by that in a little bit. Uh, there was a study that came out two years ago. I remember when I first heard about it, I wanted to write an article or make a video and I never got the chance to, so I figured I'd make a video about it today. Um, the title of the study was called, Are You Feeling What I'm Feeling? Emotional Similarity Buffers Stress. And this study was published in 2014 in the journal Social, Psychological, and Personality Science. Now, what they did in this study was they told participants that they were going to have to give a speech and that this speech was going to be recorded. And before they did that, they had them meet up in a room in pairs, uh, people that were getting ready to give their speech. And they told people to talk about how they felt about their speech and how they felt about giving their speech. So that was the setup of the study. What they found was that people who, while talking with this individual, um, said that they were stressed out about giving the speech, um, when they found out that the other person was also stressed out about giving the speech, they actually showed less stress levels um, during the speech and after the speech. Because they measured stress three times. They measured it in the beginning, they measured it during the speech, and they measured it after the speech. So, so when people said that they were stressed about the situation, but the other person said, oh, no, nah, I'm not stressed. Um, I feel pretty good about my speech. I feel pretty confident about it. That actually led to more stress for the stressed out individual. So I thought this was a really interesting finding, and um, it made sense to me. You know, when you think about um, when you're feeling stressed out or when you're feeling anxious or when you're feeling any type of negative emotion about a situation, and you share it with someone, and then they say, um, "No, I'm not. I'm not scared right now. I don't. I don't feel scared about this situation." Then, when you think about yourself and that you're scared, you think that something's wrong with you. You know, you're asking yourself, "Why am I scared?" But this person's not scared, and then that makes you start, um, you know, having sort of a more of a negative, uh, downward spiral of negative emotions because you feel like you're feeling the wrong way about a situation or you feel like something's wrong with you because you feel stressed out or anxious about this situation that no one else apparently is stressed out or anxious about. So when people feel similar to us, when there's emotional similarity, that can be very comforting to us because it makes us feel like we're normal, that our, our response is normal. and. Um, and it allows us to connect with that person and, and not feel like we have to deal with this stress or this anxiety or this fear all by ourselves, that other people are feeling the same things as us. And just having that empathy and having that, that emotional connection with someone can help make it easier to deal with those emotions. So one big takeaway of this study for me is to accept your emotions and to express them, express them and put them out there so that you don't feel like you have to deal with these emotions all by yourself. You know, there's other people feeling similar to you and the only way to, to build that common connection is to actually express how you feel and find people who feel similarly to you in a given situation. And that can help take a lot of emotional burden off of your back. So I just wanted to share that study with you guys real quickly. Um, I think it's a very interesting finding. I think there's good implications for how to express your emotions and to and the effects of having like-minded people around you who feel the same way as you. It can be a very uh, psychologically powerful thing and um, that's all I wanted to share. So thank you for listening. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated on new videos, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Have a good one.